Hi friends and welcome to another video on the Racing Family channel. My name is Big Z and today I will present you another mod for the game of Seto Corsa version 116.3, 116.4. And as you can see on your screens, the car in the question is a Glinkenhouse 007 LMH. All credit for this mod goes to the United Racing Design team. And thank you United Racing Design team for your time and for your hard work on this mod. In the description of this video, you will have a link from the United Racing Design Team official page where you can buy this mod. I directly link to download mod, we will attach to each video in the description if mod is free, or link from the page where you can buy mod if isn't. There are four you get from download link, will have a car inside with two basic skin versions. For this mod, you don't need to have a custom shader patch to be able to use this car in the game. After some time, the United Racing Design Team released a new mod from the production a couple days ago. The license at Glinkenhouse 007 LMH, which means that the Glinkenhouse specifically gave the United Racing Design team the right to make and adapt this car for the Seto Corsa game. A few months ago, I made a detailed presentation of this car published by the CMG development team, so we will skip the technical part. If you are interested in technical data, the older detailed video will be in the description of this video as well. But as a reminder, I will mention that in this piece we have a Pippo Motorus V8 engine with 690 brake horsepower, which is paired with the Shrug 7 speed gearbox. The entire chassis of this car is made of carbon fiber composite monocoque. On all four corners, we have a double Wishman suspensions, brakes from AP Racing, and Michelin tires. At the first glance, when we look at this car from the outside, it is noticeable that the guys from the United Racing Design team paid a lot of attention to the car's makeup and the details on its bodywork. The red color with which the car was painted and which was the Glinkhouse color on the 24-hour Le Mans race last year is clear, pure without a mixture of other colors. On the car you will also clearly recognize the materials used to make each component, which is also very commendable. When we jump into the interior of this car, it is immediately noticeable that the story of quality directed by the United Racing Design team continues, but besides that, it is important to know that this car has some very noticeable flaws. The first thing you will notice is a large crack on the windshield that will give you the feeling like the windshield is made from the two parts, but in fact is made of plexiglass as a whole. Another noticeable thing when you want to use the rear camera to see who is behind you, you will notice that you are followed by a small white unnamed object, but this only happens if you use newer versions of custom shadow patch. And if you want to use the view from the front camera, the roof of the car will completely disappear, and in the second our green house will be transformed into convertible. Summer is coming, so that's fine. Also, you will notice that the screen on which the driver should be provided with vital information related to the race and which is located on the dashboard on the right side of the cockpit does not work. But when it's all added and subtracted, these shortcomings are not something that one update cannot solve. In the interior of this car, the most represented material is carbon fiber. Everything that you can see inside, except the buttons, the main screen, and the knobs, are made from that material. The sitting position of the driver, as I said before, is placed slightly to the right, closer to the middle line, which will give you a better view of the track. The driver's seat is made entirely of carbon fiber, and during the race, the driver is passing with belts that can be connected in six points. Also, the driver is protected by Hans device that protects his head, neck, and back, safe from very serious injuries. We are on the straight of the Leban track in 7 gear and into any adjustments on this car to go faster. This is what you get when you download the mod. A link from the United Racing Design Team official page where you can buy this mod will be in the description of this video. 323 km per hour, okay, the top speed of the Glinkhouse 007 LMH car from the United Racing Design Team is 323 km per hour. And this is not a bad result at all. In front of the driver is positioned a rectangle multifunction steering wheel made in tarot carbon fiber and with surface are positioned all the necessary buttons and knobs, rail counter lights and the main screen. More buttons and switches will be found in the center console, which is made of carbon fiber as a part of the dashboard. On the dashboard we will find two more screens and two types as a part of the air conditioning system of the car. The first mentioned screen is the screen of the rear camera and the second screen is the info screen which isn't working at all. On the main screen you will get some info related to your lap time, in which gear you are, your moving speed, tires, temperature, tires, pressure, selected, ABS or traction control map. But you can't see how much fuel you have in the car and when you turn on lights the only indication the lights work is a light beam in front of you. Also on this car we can say that the most important things work. The headlights work, the taillights work, the brake lights work, the plate with the car number blow when you turn on lights and the viper works. The three small lights which are placed on the left and right side of the car don't work. This car also has some technical things that can be adjusted. You can adjust your taser rear wing, brake bias, brake power, alignment, tires, pressure, suspension, dampers, and you can change the final gear ratio of the car and also you can set the each gear separately which is a big plus. You have 14 up setups for traction control, one of for ABS and one of for the engine. And you have only one set of tires, one type of slicks in your disposal as an option. 
If we talk about the driving abilities of this beast, it is evident that the guys from the United Racing Design team try to satisfy even the most demanding pattern heads, whether they use a mouse and keyboard or steering wheel and pedals. The car is very balanced, very stable. The steering wheel is as it should be, very responsive and precise. Brakes work very well. Brake discs glow in a sunburst orange paint during the braking. And when the car decelerates or doing the gear change, you will notice the flames from the two exhaust pipes located above the rear axle. In the car folder total we find two basic skin versions and you can preview all of them in the game showroom and in the content manager showroom. For this mod you don't need to have a custom shader patch to be able to use this car in the game. Ok my friends, now we will go to the pit line of the Le Mans track to get conclusion about the Glinkehaus 007 LMH car. This was the Glinkehaus 007 LMH car from the United Racing Design team and conclusion is very simple. When everything is added and subtracted, this is a good and quality mod. It is obvious that the work on this car is not finished and that it will take a long time for this car directed by the United Racing Design to become identical to its older brother from the real world. The process of creation is also a learning process and I'm sure that in the future we will get many more good and quality mods from this very talented and dedicated team which with its work and dedication to many true lovers of speed makes that world of perfection become a full member of their homes. Thank you United Racing Design team for this mod. My friends, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, a like. If you don't like it, dislike. Share if you want. Stay safe, healthy and remember, always wear a seatbelt when you drive. See you in the next video. Bye.